Hello, hello. The bike tour around Iceland continues, and currently I'm in the Snaysfells Nest Peninsula in a place called Heli Sandor. And today I'm going to be cycling along the coastal routes and head in for a place called Grundafjorda. So I will show you some clips from the road with a bit of commentary, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Cheers! Just before I left Helisandor, I decided to take a quick cycle around, as the locals like to call it the street art capital of Iceland. So I took a few videos and photos, see what you think to it, and then we'll get back onto the cycling. So today is Monday 24th of July, and I'm leaving Helisander. And the idea today is to either take the ferry over to the West Fjords, if I make it in time, or just to stay the night and get the ferry the following day. Leaving uh, Helisanda, which I'm fairly sure is the name of the town I've just been in, there's this bike path, which was unexpected, but very pleasant, very smooth, nice to follow. Not sure when it's going to end, but we'll find out. <coughs> so today should be about 75 kilometers. Weather looks pretty good, it's not raining, there's no wind. And that's all I've got to say for now. Speak in a bit. So I made a few notes in my diary and I thought I'd share them here. Uh, basically it was a short day's ride to Grundafjorda with spectacular scenery and a slight tailwind in places. Uh, there was a big campground when I got there, but no shower. It was one of those where you can pay to use showers in a swimming pool that's close by. I met an older American couple cycling, and this is a couple that I then met several other times during my time cycling around Iceland. Uh, did some laundry, bought some snacks, and it was basically just a short, semi-relaxing day, really. So I've got my sea, the sea, over to my left hand side and it's so still, it's completely unlike the Mediterranean which is kind of always wavy but this is like a lake out there at the minute. So there's not much wind in the air where I am at the minute, it could be because I'm sheltered by the hill. It does mean that those little midges come out though, they say there's no mosquitoes in Iceland but there are still things that bite you. So I think they're, they could be like a little bit like the Scottish midge. So yeah, I've been bitten a few times. And that was really it for the day cycle ride. It was a really nice day actually, the wind was in my favour, the weather was nice and the campground was, although it was basic, it was absolutely fine. And this was setting me up for later on going to the West Fjords, but more about that in future videos. If you like this one, please subscribe to the channel and of course like the video and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers for now.